Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and I'm here today to share a fun way to make this snow globe shaker card with you. We're going to be using the September 2019 kit of the month. I love that little cabin in the woods scene. We're also going to combine it with a little bit of Unity Stamp Company's new 6x6 pattern papers. This is from the Rustic Textiles pattern paper, and I just used a round stitched metal die to die cut a circle out of the center of that panel. As you can see, it's already trimmed down to the size of an A2 card. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, use my Misty to stamp that image so that it lines up in the center of my circle. And the way I'm gonna do that is kind of line everything up and pick it up, and then take that pattern piece um, pattern paper piece off and then I'm going to use it just a little bit of post-it tape to mask the sides as you notice there was a little bit of a white border on the edges and I don't want my image to fully extend and hit any of that so this is going to allow me just to make sure that it keeps those edges nice and clean now I can pull off that post-it tape and see how you have that fun image in the middle and it doesn't go over to the edges and that circle fits perfectly over the top of it so because we're gonna make this a shaker card, I have a square of uh, acetate, clear acetate. Um, I buy this for making shaker cards. You can use scraps off of packaging. This particular piece was just barely big enough to cover my window and I didn't wanna, in fact, I was actually running low on it and didn't have any bigger pieces. So I used some thin, good, sturdy adhesive to run around the edges. And you notice I kind of bent it to fit around that circle. So I knew I had a nice um, tight seal around there to hold that acetate in place. And then I'm gonna add some foam adhesive around. And it's really important when you're making a shaker to make sure that your foam edges, that the pocket where your shaker filling is gonna go, that you have a nice tight seal all the way around. So make sure all your foam tape touches around the edges so you don't have any leaks for things to sneak out of there. Now I'm gonna fill it with some snowflake sequins, confetti, and then some coarse chunky glitter. This one's from Avery L. And when I got to this point, I realized a lot of times when I'm doing a shaker card, I'll put uh, the filling on the base of the card so I can put this right over the top. But in hindsight, I realized um, I'd already put my filling in and I pulled off my tape from my foam. So I needed to add a second panel of acetate to the back. Um, and to do that, my panel was just the same size as my other one. So I needed to get some of that foam adhesive a little closer to my circle so that um, that would actually seal and hold in place. And as you can see, it just barely extends over that foam adhesive. So um, that way I know I have a good seal and none of that's gonna leak out. So then I needed to cover that the edges of that acetate again with adhesive so it would adhere to my card base. And the great thing about using two layers of acetate is it helps everything in the shaker to move really well. So you can see how all those snow globe elements just shake around really nicely, which is kind of fun. I like the mix of the snowflake um, the larger snowflakes and then the glitter in there as well. It just kind of adds to the snow globe feel. All right, final touch on this card. I grabbed a sentiment from the kit. I'm going to stamp and heat emboss it on some black cardstock. I like to use white embossing powder and um, especially the way this card is that pattern paper being black and white and the image black and white. Um, this is a great monochromatic design and so adding that sentiment in black and white just kind of helps it pop and really pulls that color scheme together. So I trimmed it down to a thin thin strip and trimmed the edges off and just adhered that in place. And there you go, a fun little snow globe style shaker card with that fun little mountain scene from this stamp kit. Thanks so much for coming by. Hope you enjoyed, have a wonderful day.